Welcome to the Dr. Todd Show. I am Dr. Todd Austin from Austin Family Chiropractic in Verdon, Illinois. My guest on the show today, once again, for the third time, is Dr. Georgia Davis. Dr. Davis is a neuropsychiatrist in private practice in the Springfield, Illinois area for 25 years now. And she has talked to us in previous episodes about subclinical hypothyroidism. She's also talked to us about what to do if we have fatigued adrenal glands. And today she's going to talk to us about a very interesting subject. So let me set that up. Now some of the viewers may know me that I've got some YouTube videos on nutrition and that I do a lot of healthy smoothies. I have my kids helping me make these healthy smoothies in the videos. You know I'm a fan of things like the Magic Bullet, the Vitamix, the Nutribullet. And I use a lot of fresh, raw vegetables and fruits in those. But today, Dr. Davis is going to expand our nutritional horizons, and she's going to teach us about the art of juicing. So, Dr. Davis, why should someone juice, and what are the benefits of that? The benefits of juicing are many. Um, starting out with giving you a great nutritionally dense drink, that uh, will give you a lot of energy, will sharpen your mental acuity, will enhance your stamina, and will allow you to have less hunger through the day by virtue of drinking the juice than you would imagine uh, just from hearing about that. The, uh, the juicing, it's almost like you have to try it, and once you do, it'll win you over because there's so many benefits to how you feel. It just increases your feeling of well-being. And as you say that, I'm thinking of all the drug ads I see on TV, and they're talking about all these things that really you just talked about with the juicing. So I would think that if more people were doing something like the juicing, there would probably be a lot less people taking uh, prescription drugs every day of their life. Exactly right. Um, my, my mission is to try to help people live healthier, happier lives. And um, although we often have to prescribe medication to get people better, um, it's not unusual that we will transition to a more natural uh, diet and supplement. And as they get healthier and stronger, then they can support exercise and they can do a little bit more to help themselves prepare, shop for, um, and support something like juicing as a habit that becomes a lifestyle. Uh, once you start, you'll miss it, not, not having your juice. Um, it, it just becomes part of your daily routine. And it makes me think of the quote that I've heard over and over about, let thy food be thy medicine, and let thy medicine be thy yes, food. Yes. Well, I'll tell you a little story about this. In another life, I was a dancer. And our dancing professor would say, you don't juice, you don't dance. And the reason was because he was a taskmaster, and he wanted, he was a small person, um, he wanted dancers that were light, because of course you had to lift. He wanted dancers that could remember the choreography, because he changed his mind a hundred times. Oh, wow. And he wanted dancers that had good stamina and energy, because um, we would go to school and then we would dance for six hours after that. Wow. And uh, I was a whiny little thing, and I'd say, well, I don't like the way it tastes. And he'd say, all he had to say was raise that eyebrow and you don't juice, you don't dance. Wow. That's it. Interesting. But I remember him telling a story about Jay Cordish, who uh, is known as the Juice Man. Have you ever heard of him? No. Jay came from a long line of people that had cancer. And they got treated with um, radiation and chemotherapy. And he saw every one of his relatives pass away after a lot of suffering. And when he, at 21, got the same form of cancer, he decided that he wasn't going to do that. And he sought out a German physician who treated him with natural treatments. Um, the biggest one was juicing. Wow. After two years, his cancer went into remission. Jay is now a little older than I am, and his cancer has never come back. Um, many impressive. of you that are probably my age can remember um, Jack LaLanne. Oh, yeah. He was one of the first people that started juicing. 
um, uh, Montel Williams had um, MS, and he will tell you the benefits of juicing. It's hard um, because I know in this day and age, people come on and, and tout the benefits of different things, usually because there's some type of profit involved, but it's not that way with this. People just feel so good they want to share the benefit that they themselves have derived, and most of them have quite a story to tell that they've had a number of chronic illnesses, been to a lot of doctors, been given a lot of medications, and nothing that they have experienced has compared with the benefits that they've gotten from juicing. Well, well there's got to be something to it if all those people Definitely. back it and have stories to tell. I have to say I probably came into it kicking and screaming, but um, I'm, I'm in it with both feet now, and I, I think that once uh, you try it, you'll probably say the same thing. Wow. And what fruits and vegetables would you typically recommend for juicing? The thing that comes to mind for me is like a carrot. So what would you recommend? Yes, but the most nutritionally dense, um, the ones that have the greatest benefit, of course a variety is important, but greens, juicing greens, it may take a little getting used to, but it's well worth the effort. Um, it doesn't give you a great deal of volume and so that's why you might want to blend a cucumber with say a fistful or two of spinach. Get some baby greens and those are mixtures of spinach and chard and kale. Um, kale, if you, if you give yourself a little book on juicing, uh, get something that will have the nutritional benefits, how to prepare, how to shop, how to mix combinations, then you'll do like me. I read beets, I hadn't even thought about beets, and I saw all the benefits in beets, and I, thought, oh, yeah. I have to try that. I have to try adding that. And oh my goodness, they're so beautiful when you add, to look at it, that rich red color. True. Um, I, I really never was a big fan of beets, but it, it was just something that it was a new discovery, and adding that to carrot juice is wonderful. Adding the cucumber to spinach, and uh, lemon, or grapefruit, or lime, gives it a very fresh taste and just smelling the cucumber brings back summer even in the midst of winter wow it's uh it sounds pretty can't amazing say enough about it i will say that there's a nutrition company that i sell their products to my office standard process and they grow most of what they put in their products on their organic farm most of their products have organic beets in them so they're very big on the beets because of the health benefits. Well, my husband um, taught me the benefits of having your own garden. Um, you have not only the benefit of organically raised produce, but of the exercise involved in tilling the land and in pulling the weeds and in harvesting things. And um, when you have the fiber and things left over from juicing, then that goes back into the soil and increases the nutrients in the soil. Um, so you can't, you can't lose. It's just a win-win situation when people say, oh, it's so expensive, I don't want to do that. I think, how much is a bag of potato chips? Oh, yeah. $2.99, oh. and you can buy a whole box of greens for $2.99. You can True. buy three to five pounds of carrots for $2.99. Um, so that's... Which she's done that argument, though. That, that's right. I, I would say, if you're thinking of trying it, and I hope you do, um, that you go and look for a juicer and make sure that the prime consideration is that it's easy to clean. Because you want to make this as easy as you can for yourself so that you'll stick with it and you'll be glad you did. Well, thank you for joining me on the show today, Dr. Davis. It was very enlightening. And I can honestly say that I learned a lot more about juicing myself. Well, I'd like you to share um, your uh, detox um, drink with people because I think that would be a real benefit for them. Okay, Maybe well, that time. will be a subject to a future video. Then. Okay. So thank you for joining me on the show. Thank you.